oils are a thing right now. You can't turn a corner at a beauty store without seeing a face oil. I have been a big advocate for face oils for probably like four or five years now. I've talked about them in several blog posts, but I think they can be really terrifying if you're somebody who has acne prone or already oily skin. The key is finding the right oil for your skin. Some oils are gonna be lighter. Some oils are gonna be heavier. Some are gonna be good for extra dry skin. Some are gonna be good for acne prone skin. Some are gonna be good for day. Some are gonna be good for night. Some are gonna be good under makeup. Some are gonna be good without makeup. There's a wide variety of oils. I'm not gonna get into all of those today. I just wanna talk about the main lies and myths that are out there when it comes to oils. Now here's the number one myth I would say across the board about oils. I have oily skin, therefore I can't use face oils. That is wrong. So your skin produces natural oils. If you strip all of those oils away, you're gonna essentially dry out your skin and then your skin is gonna rush to reproduce more oil because it's gonna be so dry, then you're gonna become more prone to breaking out. So stripping your face of oil, if you are acne prone, isn't the way to go because you're essentially gonna cause your pores to go into overdrive and produce more oil. So you actually can combat oil with oil. So a lot of people think they can't get glowy skin without makeup. They think I need to use a highlighter, I need to use some sort of you know glow stick or um, some sort of powder on the tops of my cheekbones. That's such a lie. The best way to get glowy skin is to find a great oil that soaks into the skin. One of my favorites for under makeup would be the Colleen Rothschild Face Oil Number no. 9. I'd use this for years um, and it's honestly this and then sunscreen and then my makeup. Um, it soaks into the skin perfectly. You can do one pump for all of your face. I do too because I'm a little over aggressive. Um, so I do two pumps for my face and neck and I just work it in, really massage it into your skin. Now another thing to know is there are some oils that do other things besides just make your skin look dewy. For example, the Sunday Riley, um, the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. It fights against redness and wrinkles while you sleep. So this would be what you would want to layer onto your skin underneath your night cream. So kind of don't look at it as an oil, but look at it more as a serum that's in an oil form. Um, another example is the Colleen Rothschild Retinol Supreme Night Oil. This is the most gentle version of retinol you're ever going to get, but it's in an oil form. Another great night oil would be the Radiance. This is the brightening rose hip seed facial oil from Beauty Bio, the founders of the Glow Pro. And then another night oil would be the Natura Bisset Diamond Extreme Oil. This one is very heavy, so maybe pack this in your suitcase if you're headed somewhere really dry and cold, or if you want that extra boost of hydration at night. Okay, another thing you need to know about oils. You don't have to wear them alone. They can definitely um, be layered. They're, they're, I think, a really great primer to a cream. I create what Colleen Rothschild calls a cocktail. So I would do a couple pumps of an oil into my hand and then a scoop of maybe my favorite night cream. Rub them together, put them into your skin, and then you've kind of created the most perfect product cocktail, if you will. So don't look at them as standalones, which they can be standalones under makeup, but Treat them as an addition to your skincare regimen. The quickest way to combat aging, make sure your skin stays moisturized and you're not stripping it of all the oils and do so by using the right oil. Um, if you're somebody who loves rose, Pixie has just come out with their rose blend oil, which is out of these, I'd say the least expensive. I did pick this up at Target and I think it was like 12 bucks. So if you're wanting to like maybe test oils before diving into it, that might be a way to go. I was nervous about oils at first, but now they've completely changed the, um, the texture and the appearance of my skin. So if you're somebody who was intimidated about oils, I really don't want you to be. I want you to send me any additional questions you have. Direct message me at currently, or you can leave a comment in the bottom of this video or comment on any of my Instagram posts. If you wanna see more skincare videos like this where I teach you about things I love and kinda know a little bit about, be sure to head to currently.com for even more skincare information, beauty information, fashion information, travel information, it's all there.